You've got a lot riding on this letter. And you're going to hand it over to the post office? Federal Express has an alternative. Let's face it, a commercial's what you watch when you sit down and watch something else. And, and more often than not, you have to watch that same spot over and over, sometimes in just a matter of minutes. You should at least make it entertaining. It's next day there. <laughs> Evening, we are very nice. Is next swim there. Money five years on the road. Airlines never leave on time. I tell you, they never leave on time. Cabin, please. Unis travel plans. I need to be in New York on Monday, LA on Tuesday, New York on Wednesday, LA on Thursday, New York on Friday. Got it? Got it. Got it. So you want to work here? What really makes you think you deserve a job here? Well, sir, I think on my feet I'm good at figures and I have a sharp mind. Excellent. Can you start on Monday? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Without hesitation. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Sit down, Bob. Now with this, you can serve a whole plain loaf for just pennies. I like it. Elastic parsley. You can use it over and over again. I like it. Pick me chickens. You can get heart and five of an ordinary shoebox. I like it. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. The question is, how did Joe Sotomayor help shape the course of advertising history? <laughs> he, he made people want to turn on their televisions to see commercials. I'm trying to think when that ever happened uh, before. Well, it happened, you know, in the 60s with some Alka Seltzer stuff and some Volkswagen stuff. And there was the Sotomayor phenomenon. <laughs>